To write code for the Tinsi microcontroller, you need two pieces of software. One is Arduino, and the other is Tinsi Duino. Before you download Arduino, click on the Tinsi Duino site. So here I've done a search for Tinsi download, and it's the first link. We're going to take a look here, and the Tinsi Duino is uh, the latest version is 1.52, um, and it supports these versions of Arduino. So make sure that when you get to Arduino, you don't download a version that is higher than this number here. So let's do a search for Arduino download. And you can see that this is Arduino 1.8.12, which matches what the Tinsi supports, so you can download the latest version. Because I'm on a Windows machine, I'm going to use the Windows installer here. If you are not an administrator, you can use the Windows zip file as well. You can contribute money if you want, or just download. And it will take a few seconds to download this here. Okay, so you want to open up that folder and run the executable. the license, install everything as default. This is going to put it in your program files, the um, x86 folder under Arduino. You can put it other places, but I would just use the default. It'll take a second to build. If it's completed, you can close. Okay, and it will be here. Under Windows, Program Files, x86, there is Arduino. And then we're going to look at Arduino.exe. If you can't see the, uh, the extensions, I recommend you go to View and check on File Extensions. I always like to do this with a Windows machine. It's not necessary to do uh, this step. On a Mac, it absolutely is. But the first thing I would do is I would just open up Arduino just to make sure that it's going to run. You'll get this, and with nothing else, all you have to do is verify. Even though there's no actual code inside the template window here, it's done, it works. You can close this now. It's important that you close it. Because if you just have Arduino, you can stop here and just use the Arduino uh, IDE. But because um, we want to install for the Tinsi, we have to install one more piece of software, which is going to handshake between the Arduino IDE and the Tinsi microcontroller itself. So we go back to the internet and we'll look at now the Tinsi Duino. Again, I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm going to be downloading this installer here. It installs another installation program. We'll wait for that to install. Again, this is the handshake app between the Arduino and the microcontroller, the Tinsi microcontroller. Almost done. There we go. So now we just install this. If you don't have the driver installed, you need to update the driver, but the whole thing will find it now with modern machines. Make sure, this is the important piece, make sure that you have found the folder that you installed the Arduino in the last step. So it should default to this, but if, if you put it someplace else, you'll need to find it. These buttons will be grayed out until you actually find the Arduino folder. I highly recommend installing all the libraries that you see here. Press the install button. And it'll take a few seconds to install. Okay. Press done, and now you're done. So now that the Arduino IDE and the Tinsi Duino have been installed, let's take a look to see if it works. Back in the Windows Program Files, x86, we could double click here if we wanted to run it. We could right click to pin it to the taskbar or to the start menu. I prefer the taskbar personally. That loads it down here, at always ready. And so when we open it, takes a second. We know it's, it works if you go to Tools and then go to Board and notice that there are all of these extra Teensy boards here that you're allowed to, to choose. You should have, and I'm sorry I didn't, but when, when we installed the Arduino IDE, 
you would only have these Arduino and li lily pad boards that you have options to choose. But as soon as you install the Teensy Duino, then you have also all of these options as well. If we choose port, look at port, there's no Teensy uh, installed right now, so I don't have a Teensy plugged in, so there's not a COM port that I can use. And let's, let's try that now. 